Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read you a story, The Big Storm, Oxford Read and Imagine, Level 2, The Big Storm. Hello, my name is Ben. Hello, my name is Rosie. This is Grandpa. This is Grandpa's van. It's fantastic. Ben, Rosie's brother. Rosie, Ben's sister. Grandpa, Clunk, Grandpa's Robert. Max, Ben's friend. Now, let's read about the big storm. Where are we, Grandpa? asks Rosie. We're in the mountains for a nice, quiet afternoon, says Grandpa. He has a basket with lots of food. I have a picnic. Great, says Ben's friend, Max. I'm hungry. You're always hungry, Max, says Ben. The children sit down on a blanket and eat. Clunk doesn't, Clunk doesn't sit down. He's go, he goes to the van. Where's Clunk going? asks Ben. To the store, says Grandpa. Please be here at four o'clock, he says to Clunk. The children have a nice picnic. That was great. Thank you, Grandpa, says Rosie, but it's four o'clock. Where's Clunk? I don't know, says Grandpa. Look at those clouds, says Max. I can't see lightning too, says Ben. It's a storm. Soon, they can hear thunder. It's getting windier, says Rosie. There is more lightning and the thunder is louder. The storm is coming closer, says Grandpa. He has a cell phone in his hand. Clunk, where are you? Now it is very windy. Suddenly there is a flash. It isn't lightning. Clunk is here in the van. But the wind hits the van and Clunk can't stop. The van bounces on the ground and then it hits a rock. Stop, Clunk! shouts Ben. You're driving to the cliff. The van doesn't fall. It stops at the end of the cliff. Two of its wheel wheels are on the ground. Two of its wheels are in the air. Clunk! shouts Grandpa. Drive the, drive the van! But the van doesn't start. The storm is very close. Rain is falling and the wind is stronger and stronger. The storm is coming, says Max. What can we do? We can't walk down the mountain and we can't sit in the van, says Ben. It's too dangerous on the cliff. Can you storm the van, Grandpa? Asks, Grump, asks Rosie. I don't know, says Grandpa. The van uses electricity. But where can we find electricity here? There is a flash of thunder. I have an idea, says Grandpa. Clunk, get some wire from the van, please. Grandpa ties the wire to his umbrella. Then he points to a big rock. Put this umbrella on top of that rock, Clunk. He says, Clunk goes to a rock with umbrella, and Grandpa goes to the van. What are they doing? asks Max. I know, says Ben. Lightning is electricity. The lightning hits the umbrella. Then the electricity goes the wire to the van. Grandpa has a machine in the van to take the electricity. Clunk puts the umbrella on top of the big rock. Calm down now, Clunk, shouts Grandpa. Suddenly, the wire breaks. No, shouts Clunk. He jumps to catch it. Now, the robot has the wire in his two hands. Calm down, shouts Max. It's too dangerous. But Clunk does not calm down. Then, there is a flash. Lightning hits the umbrella. The wire takes the electricity to Clunk. Then, it goes from Clunk to the van. The van starts. But how? asks Max. Electricity goes fast through metal, says Grandpa, and Clunk is metal. Ben shouts to a robot. Clunk, can you calm down? But Clunk doesn't answer. Is he okay? asks Rosie. The children have the picnic blanket in, in their hands. We can, we can catch Clunk with this blanket, says Ben. Clunk falls and hits the blanket. Put him on the ground says Grandpa. Grandpa looks down at the robot. Are you okay, Clunk? Are you better? Clunk opens his eyes. Better? I'm fantastic, he says. That lightning was up, was great. Soon, they're in the van again. Let's go home, says Grandpa. The van flies up through the storm. 
This was a third nice, quiet afternoon, says Max. But it was great. Later at home, Rosie asks Grandpa, "Why was Kung at the store to buy a new battery?" says Grandpa. Kung uses electricity. He was slow this morning, but look at him now. He isn't slow.